Hey, it's Juliana Lydon, and today on my video blog, I want to talk a little bit about the tragedy in Colorado. I tell you, my heart is so heavy, as I know it yours is as well. This is just so difficult. You know, I think we're all in shock to a certain degree, and I wanted to throw out a few things to just think about, and, and maybe they might help a little bit. I did a few TV segments to help in my way, helping parents or individuals kind of put their head or get their head around this and, and process it. And I think there's a couple of things that are worth mentioning. Number one, when we are dealing with someone who is mentally ill, it can be so hard for those of us that function in a normal way because we can't see mental illness and we can't even begin to understand it. We're, we're asking these questions. How could you do this? What was going through your head? Who are you? And we may not get the answers that we want because when someone is that sick, they are absolutely out of reach. They are out of touch and they are not working from the same framework or mindset that we are. But I think one of the most important things we can learn from this tragedy is that we can't let fear permeate our lives. We can't make radical changes where we don't go out or we don't go to the theater. We have to stick together. We have to support one another. And we're really going through a grieving process to a certain degree, especially those individuals that have lost a loved one. Their grief is going to be so thick. But even for us as witnesses watching this from afar, we go through our own level of grieving. And I think another thing we have to look at is we have to try to become even more aware. We have to listen to that intuitive voice, that little whisper, that little nudge that, that kind of might gnaw at us or whisper to us that something might be off. Not that this tragedy could have been averted, but we do need to recognize when we feel something is off, we need to pay attention. When we see someone in a situation that we think, hmm, this just isn't right, we need to react and we need to teach our children to do this. So I just want to say my thoughts and prayers are with the family members, as I know you feel the same way I do. And I just wanted to put those few things out there as a professional and working with people through the coaching process and helping individuals heal and kind of get their head around things that, you know, it just, it reminds me too that we are so resilient as human beings and I know that if we are there for one another and we don't let this fear get in the way and we become even more aware that we can make it through. Thank you.